two sets of earbuds enter, one set leaves. It's the battle for budget glory in this wireless earbuds showdown between the Soundpeats True Free 2 and the Empow M30. Let's make it simple. Greetings and salutations, my friends. My name is Travis, AKA Dad, and welcome to Dad Does Tech. I'm just an ordinary dad who loves tech and camera stuff, and my goal is to help you find the right gear and get the most out of it. And today we have a comparison video of the Soundpeats True Free 2 and the Empow M30. These two sets of earbuds represent a best in class, in my opinion, when it comes to earbuds under $40. And today we are going to pit them against each other and see which one comes out on top as the best bang for your buck in the $30 price range. However, just because one is necessarily the best overall, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best for everyone. So we're going to go over everything you need to know so you can figure out which one is the best for you. Both of these sets of earbuds are Bluetooth 5.0, have built-in microphones for phone calls, and are also fully waterproof. The Soundpeats True Free 2 offer a waterproof rating of IPX7, while the Empow is sporting an IPX8 rating of their own, and that would give the edge to the Empow just because it is a little bit better, but essentially IPX7 and IPX8 are both waterproof, so there's going to be very little difference. From a design perspective, both sets of earbuds are very nice and very good looking in my opinion. However, I would say that I'm gonna give the edge to the Soundpeats in this category because I like the little wing tip that they've got on their earbuds that looks more like a shark's fin. I think that ear fin fits a little bit better in my ears and in my opinion, it actually locks it better into your ear than the alternative on the Empow. I feel like it's a little softer and it just doesn't quite grab as well as the Soundpeats do. And I noticed that the Empows tend to move a little bit more. They never fall out, but I lose the seal a little bit more than I would on the Soundpeats. Plus the Soundpeats just feel like a little bit more of an original look, especially since they have the Soundpeats logo on the side. Whereas the Empow does just kind of feel more like a Galaxy Buds clone because they look so similar. So we're gonna give the point to Soundpeats in design. Both of the cases on these earbuds are very similar in size, albeit the Soundpeats case is just a little bit chunkier. It's just a little bit taller, a little bit wider, and a little bit longer. And it's not by much, I mean it's really close. However, the biggest difference is the top of the case, whereas the Empow is a rounded pill-shaped case like the Galaxy Buds which they were modeled after. The Soundpeats, however, has a flat top on the case. This flat top on the case just makes it a little bit more boxy and a little bit more awkward to put in your pocket. Also, a lot more noticeable when it's in your pocket. But the one benefit of this flat lid is it is easier to grab onto and open, especially with one hand. The Empows are a little bit more difficult to open with one hand, and I find that the case is overall just a little bit more slippery. However, in general, I prefer the smaller case and I prefer the case that overall fits better in my pocket, so I'm more comfortable taking it with me everywhere. Both of the earbuds cases are rocking USB Type-C for their charging, so they have quick charge support, and both of them have notification lights that they use to display the battery life of the case. However, the way these notification lights are implemented on these cases is a little bit different. On the Empows, they've implemented a single notification light that changes color based on how much battery life the case actually has left, ranging from blue all the way down to red when it is almost completely dead. To see how much battery life you have on your Empow case, you simply open the case and the light on the front of the case will turn on and tell you how much battery is roughly left on your case. And then over on the Soundpeats earbuds, there's a multiple notification light system that they've implemented underneath the lid, where each LED represents a single charge, roughly, of how many charges the case has left to charge your earbuds. And I personally like that system a lot. However, the lights don't turn on when you lift the lid, which is kind of counterintuitive. You would expect the lights to turn on and tell you the battery every time you open the lid. Unfortunately, it's just not working in the way that is the best for the user compared to the Empow. Because the Empow case is a little bit smaller and a little bit more pocket friendly in my opinion, and the RGB notification light just works a little bit better than the lights that don't always turn on on the Soundpeats, I'm gonna go ahead and give the edge to the Empow. 
One of the biggest differences between these two sets of earbuds is definitely their control systems. They both have the ability to do more or less the same things from play, pause, volume control, skipping tracks, hanging up and answering phone calls. They can all do similar things. However, the way they do them is different in that the Soundpeats True Free 2 use buttons and the Empow M30 use touch sensors. With the Soundpeats buttons, they are very reliable. They're not super hard to press, but when you press them, you will notice that you're starting to press them into your ear canal. And the more you press on the buttons, the more painful it will be to change the volume or skip tracks when you're pressing them into your ear. However, they work just as they're supposed to every single time. You don't have to worry about phantom touches or any type of finicky behavior because unless you press it, it's not gonna do anything. However, buttons aren't for everybody and that's where the MPOWs shine in their touch pads. The touch sensors are honestly pretty good on these earbuds, especially for such a cheap set of earbuds. In my opinion, most earbuds in the sub $50, $60 categories tend to have rather poor touch controls, but I found that the MPOWs to be highly responsive and overall pretty good. However, there's still going to be some finicky behavior when you're trying to, you know, adjust the volume or maybe you're hanging up a phone call and you may accidentally call your Google Assistant. You may have those type of mistakes happen with touch pads that you just won't see with buttons. So in this situation, it's a little bit difficult to declare a winner because this will definitely be very subjective to whoever is using these earbuds. In my preference, I prefer touch pads. However, if I was saying strictly on reliability of how the systems are working, I would say buttons will always outshine touch pads every single time because of their reliability. Because of this, I'm going to declare this being a tie and we're going to give a point to both the MPOW and the Soundpeats because they both execute their controls well in their own right. As far as battery life is concerned, the Soundpeats True Free 2 are gonna get you four hours on the buds and another 16 hours with the case to give you a total of 20 hours overall in listening time before having to charge your case. On the MPOW M30, you're gonna get five hours on the buds with another 20 hours on the case for a total of 25 hours. So in my opinion, this is a pretty clean cut winner. The MPOW gets the mark. It's time to pass judgment on these earbuds as far as their ability to make phone calls and test out their microphones. So we're gonna go ahead and play some audio tests using these earbuds and you can be the judge of how they sound. This is a test of the microphones on the MPOW M30 recorded through a voice recorder app that does a good job of simulating phone call quality on my Google Pixel 4. This is in a quiet environment so you should be able to hear me fairly clearly. What do you think? This is a microphone test of the Soundpeats True Free 2 True Wireless Earbuds in a quiet space recorded into my Google Pixel 4 XL on a Bluetooth recorder app that I know simulates phone call quality pretty well. It has a similar amount of compression that you would experience on a phone call. In the past using these earbuds, I've noticed some clicking and popping when I'm on phone calls. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that comes across on these recordings or not, but let me know what you think of the sound quality on these. Okay, so let's be honest, it's probably pretty obvious that the microphones were one of the weaker components of these earbuds, but we do have to pick a winner, and if we were basing it off of audio samples, I think the MPOWs sounded better than the Soundpeats, largely due to some popping and cracking that occasionally happened on the Soundpeats that didn't happen on the MPOWs. However, here's some real talk with Dad. In my experience, the MPOW M30 always performed way worse on phone calls and people could never hear what I'm saying. My voice would trail off and then fade back in and then trail off again. And that was just not an experience I ever had on the Soundpeats. The Soundpeats, you do occasionally get a little bit of popping or cracking. And sometimes it sounds like you're in a little bit of a tin room, but people never questioned what I was saying. They always knew what I was saying and that is more important. So for me, the Soundpeats get the win. Finally, we are here in the last and most important category and that is sound quality. And boy, it's close. It's really close. Honestly, I don't know if you can go wrong with either of these two earbuds when it comes to sound quality because they both sound so good and they're super close. However, I do think that maybe each of them performs better depending on what music you're into. 
If you're somebody who listens to primarily hip hop and R&B style music, I would recommend the sound peats because I really think that the thick bass line that those things push out is such a good rumble that it really just makes the music feel just more dynamic overall. And it is pretty balanced and has a good pronunciation of the highs as well. Sometimes you find the mids get a little bit rolled into the lows and aren't as pronounced, but it, they're still there. However, if you're somebody who listens primarily to rock music, I think I prefer the MPOW sound just a little bit more just because you can hear more of those guitar parts a little bit more clearly and they just feel clean and crispy, but you still have some bass and you still have those highs. It's a very balanced sound that doesn't sound flat, but it's just not quite as bassy as the sound beats. Having said all that, if I was going to pick one of these two, as far as their sound quality goes, which one sounds better more often than the other, I'm gonna pick the Sound Peats. The sound quality coming out of the Sound Peats True Free 2 is just so good. It's so dynamic and it's so big, it just makes you wanna groove. I love the way it sounds. I don't wanna EQ it, I don't ever wanna change it. It just sounds exactly the way I wanna hear it and the way I want all my music to sound going forward. On top of that, the ear fins on the sound peats do just such a good job of sealing off your ear canal to make sure you're getting all of the sound from the earbuds and you're not having any sound leak. And it just does a better job, in my opinion, of staying put and making that seal consistent than the MPOWs do. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and declare this sound peats true free to as the winner of this challenge with the MPOW M30. Now I think both of these earbuds are fantastic and I don't think you'll be disappointed with either of them. While I think the Sound Peats may be the slightly better earbuds overall because they executed on certain levels that the Empow didn't, such as the microphones for call quality, I think that they're so close and depending on what some of your preferences are, the MPOWs could still be the one for you. If you're somebody who hates buttons and don't want to be pressing the earbuds into your ear and you prefer touch pads and you want something that sounds good but also has better battery life and a smaller case size, the MPOWs are the way to go. I myself personally am falling into that second category where battery life and case size is a little bit more important to me and I'm just having to sacrifice not making phone calls with my earbuds, which is why the MPOW M30s make it into my pocket a little bit more often than the sound beats. And that's gonna do it for this earbuds showdown. If you like this style of video, let me know down in the comments section. And if there's other earbuds that you'd like me to stack up against each other, let me know that as well. But as always, if you like this video, found it helpful or mildly entertaining, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.